So with his pride of Sudbury, Ontario, had a, an outstanding uh, career in hockey, which is still going on. He's given all, more than a half uh, century on the uh, skating and coaching uh, side of it. And when Bob Whitten first uh, came to major prominence with the Toronto Marlies of the late 1960s, boys, oh boys, oh boys, what a, what a successful career that followed after that great OHA uh, seasons. Now, born in Sudbury, Ontario, uh, July 27, 1946, not the biggest goalie on the ice, 5'10", 175. Like I said, played his major junior with the Toronto Marlies of the OHA. Now, from 65 to 67, he was part of the Marlies' uh, great uh, late 60s era. And in 67, uh, the Marlboros won the J. Ross Robertson Cup and the Memorial Cup, emblematic of uh, Ontario Junior and National uh, uh, Junior AAA supremacy. Now, he eventually played four seasons with the Cleveland Crusaders of the WHA as a backup to future Hall of Famer Jerry Cheevers. He also played with the Rochester Americans and Baltimore Clippers of the AHL, the Charlotte Checkers of the EHL, and the Mohawk Valley Comets of the North American Hockey League. Now, following his on-ice career, he spent 21 years as the coach of the hockey team of St. Edward High School in Lakewood, Ontario, which is a suburb of Cleveland. In 85, his first year as head coach, uh, Witten led the team to the Ohio High School Athletic Association State Big School Hockey Championship, which is AAA High School. He coached several players who were drafted by the NHL, including Todd Harkins, Brett Harkins, and Michael Rupp, who is now with the Minnesota Wild. Witten's Eagles won 10 OH, OHSAA state titles and 7 Baron Cups, which uh, is emblematic of Greater Cleveland Championships. And he finished with a career record of 507 wins, 149 losses, and 28 ties. His 507 wins rank fourth among coaches in OHSAA ice history. He retired in 2005 after winning the, his 10th title and being named the Ohio High School Coach of the Year by the National Federation of State High School Associations. In July 2009, St. Edward uh, named Witten to the school's Athletic Hall of Fame class of 2009. And again, uh, quite, quite an awards uh, haul through the years. He won the Memorial Cup again as, as one of their goalies in 67, uh, 10 OHSAA state titles, 7 Baron Cups, 500 wins as a high school head coach, Cleveland Hockey Legends Ring of Honor, and in 2011 his hometown inducted him to the House of Kin Sudbury Hall of Fame. Now the, uh, the talent in the family doesn't just stop with him. He's uh, three sons. Uh, in, including Rob and Jarrett, uh, following their father's uh, coaching uh, footsteps, uh, and uh, Tyler as well. Now, Rob took over as head coach of St. Edward's hockey team in 2005 and won the 2008 Ohio State Championships. In August 2006, Jarrett was named head coach of Kent State University uh, ice hockey following a minor hockey career. Now, best season uh, in uh, the minor pros, in my opinion, probably his, his season with Charlotte when he uh, had a very strong 3.84 goals against average with 26 wins in 50 games. The four years in Cleveland and the backup was pretty consistent in the 3.2 3 to 3.9 goals against uh, average. Uh, best season with Cleveland was 73 with 11, 12, and 3 record. Final, final w, uh, WHA totals, 98 games. 34, 51, and 9 with a 3.43 goals against average. But like I said, uh, doing so much in your career, uh, Witten is kind of an example uh, where you have a great major junior start. You learn how to coach while playing. You know how to motivate players. You, you know what it takes to be done. And you got to understand, being a goalie in that era, uh, AHL was much stronger back then than it is now, and playing with Rochester and Baltimore was a good learning experience as well. But again, with the expansion to the WHA, again, it's a broken record. Players like Bob, who were mired in the minors, couldn't make the, the shortened NHL of 12 teams. Once the WHA opened up, uh, you know, the, the jobs were there. And playing uh, Cheevers backup, there was no pressure on him because Cheevers would play, you know, 60 games a season, and all he needed was a consistent number two that could uh, take over when 
when needed. So anyway, that's the legend of Bob Witten. Uh, it's been my pleasure presenting his career both on and off the ice. If you like what we're doing here, give us a like, comment, or subscribe. Uh, comments and requests uh, are more than appreciated. And again, uh, we're kind of looking at the one, two, three uh, WHA wonders, like tr one to three season wonders. And Bob was that because, uh, you know, by the last season, uh, you know, he, uh, Cleveland was having a rough part of it. And, uh, you know, uh, but what, what, a what a great franchise to play in Cleveland and becoming head coach there. He gave, he gave so much to Ohio hockey through the years. And uh, who knows? Like I said, there's more Hall of Fames could be coming. Thanks for listening. Bye.